I'm Johnny. You're watching A View to a Grill and today it's my top nine tips for beginner charcoal grillers and it all starts now. Tip number one, buy a Weber kettle. Now I know what you're thinking. This must be one of those Weber guys. No. Absolutely not. Hey Weber, call me. This is a porcelain enameled bowl and lid. It should last you a lifetime. Another thing, there is no other grill with more aftermarket products than the Weber kettle. Anything from rotisseries to cast iron grills to charcoal baskets. And if you ever need a replacement part, just go to your local Home Depot or Lowe's. They have a whole section dedicated just to Weber products. Now, if you don't have a Weber kettle, that's okay. All of these tips will apply to you the same way. Tip number two, use a charcoal chimney starter. Now you don't have to use a Weber, but I happen to have a video comparing four major brands of charcoal chimney starters. Give it a look. You may be surprised at the outcome. Well, how do you use a charcoal chimney starter? Well, I like to take two sheets of paper, crumble them up into a loose ball, stick them in the bottom of your charcoal chimney starter, and then just light it up. About 15 or 20 minutes later, you have charcoal ready to use. And it doesn't smell like stinky lighter fluid. Three, use sturdy grilling equipment. Not only use sturdy equipment, but use equipment with a long reach. Now these tongs are about 16 inches long. Your hands are safe and away from the fire. However, these tongs are only about 12 inches long. They're a little closer to the fire, so you're going to feel the heat just a little bit more. Same thing goes for your spatula. You want a long spatula. This will keep your hands safely away from the fire. Tip number four. Set your kettle up for two-zone grilling. Now just talking specifically towards grilling, you're going to want to set your kettle up for two zones. Now I use a slow and sear but you don't need a slow and sear to set up for two zone cooking. The right's going to be my hot zone, the left is going to be my cool zone. You can use the Weber baskets on the right side, hot zone, left side, cool zone. Or you can just pile up your charcoal on one side of the kettle. Either way, when grilling, two zones is the way to go. Tip number five, use electronic thermometers. Now I happen to have the Weber iGrill. I use it for the ambient temperature in the kettle when you're grilling or I use it as a meat probe thermometer. Both ways it works great. I also occasionally use an instant read thermometer. And for me I specifically use it for the dark meat of chicken because well <laughs> because the dark meat of chicken is so hard to tell if it's done or not by touch. Number six, choose the right charcoal. If you've been wondering the best charcoal to buy for your grilling needs, check out my video where I compare four brands of charcoal with some pretty interesting results. Seven, preheat your grill. Preheating the grill, getting that temperature close to above that 400 degree range kills all the bacteria which takes us in to number eight a hot grill is easier to clean when cleaning the weber grill grate i like to have a bowl of water and an old towel once the grill is hot i'll just dip the towel in the water and wipe off the grill grate for my cast iron grill grate i'll take the grate off the fire spray it with canola oil and then wipe it down. If you spray it over the fire, the oil is gonna catch on fire and that is a safety hazard. It's all easier to do if your grill is hot. Number nine, reuse unburned charcoal. Reusing unburned charcoal will save you money and it conserves your charcoal. To conserve charcoal, all you have to do is close your bottom vent and close your top vent and just let the fire snuff itself out. On your next cook, just simply add your lit charcoal to your old charcoal and let the fire spread. 
Once it all ashes over, it's ready to use. Let's go ahead and put a bonus tip in there. Bonus tip number 10. Subscribe to my channel. As a content creator, there's a lot of pressure of getting new videos out there of new recipes. All of my recipes will be of food that I actually enjoy. And hopefully, you will too. Also, I'm going to supply you with useful product comparisons. Now, I don't really care to do a review because a review is just talking about one product. I'm going to post things where it involves more than one product and it's a comparison. So you'll know what the best product is. Also, most of my cooks are going to be on the Weber kettle. I've owned other less expensive grills, but they truly do not measure up to the quality of a Weber kettle. And I'm not saying this because I own Weber products. I just truly believe they're better. Now I do have some recipes that I will do inside if I'm trying to remain true to document a family recipe. And if that recipe is done inside, then we'll do it inside. But most of my cooks are going to be outside on the grill. I'm also going to include videos that enhance the grilling experience. And for me, that involves the woodworking videos that I post. If you look through my catalog, you'll notice two grilling table videos. One of them is for the Weber kettle and the other one is for my offset. And I do have other ideas for Weber kettle tables and a few more things that'll go out onto my patio and enhance my grilling experience. And remember, I'm just getting started. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and grow with me. As always, thank you for watching A View to a Grill and I'll see you next time.